Hello all, Shoestring here. We're going to do a four week review of my Voyager charge controller, which I purchased and set up about a month ago. Just to catch everyone up in case you haven't been watching, I have these four panels, three of them, 15 watts, part of a Harbor Freight 45 watt kit. Also a 25 watt right there, which is separate, but also Harbor Freight. And I have them all connected to a Harbor Freight, hopefully you can see that, Harbor Freight hub. Sometimes it's hard to do out here in the sun. All right, so there's the hub connected right there, goes into the house where the charge controller is, of course. And the other wires there go to the different panels. Okay, so just wanted to show you that real quick to see what the charge controller is connected to before we go in the house and I give you a review, a four week review of how it's been doing. Okay, now we're back into the house. Once again, just another little update for those that don't normally watch my videos. This is my cart. Give you a good view of it. I use it to move around the house when the power goes out. See, it's on wheels. Moves really well. And I use it, like I said, when the power goes out and I need to power items inside the house that is not connected to the house's backup system. Okay, so we have a Volt works right there, pure sine wave, 2000 watts. Uh, that's what it, pat. that's the uh, inverter I use on the cart. And it's connected to battery, of course, it's a 200 amp hour, 12 volt. You can see it right there, 12 volt, 200 amp hour. And it takes care of all the needs of the house. If the power goes out, it will run the refrigerator for a while. It will run the washing machine. It will run all types of things that the that Miss Shoestring would like done. All right, and then of course I charge it with the solar panels I was showing you outside. And at the moment I've been using this Voyager charge controller, 12 volt, 20 amp. You see right there. Now. I have not, I do not leave this charge controller connected. As most of you know, most charge controllers, unless they're very expensive, will drain the battery if they're connected, but no sun power is coming in through the panels. That's, of course, because the battery is running the charge controllers. Some expensive ones do have a nighttime setting, but I don't think this one does. I haven't found it yet. Because this is the one I initially unboxed and set up and showed everyone how to set up. So, we're going to follow the wires down. And we are going to go ahead and connect it. Plus to plus. And. Negative to negative. Hopefully you can see that okay. And it has come on. Okay, excellent. It is just on. It is not connected to the solar panels that you saw outside yet. We're about to do that right now. All right, we have connected it. There is not a lot of sun out there right now, I'm afraid. So we're not gonna get a lot of power, but that's okay. We're just gonna show. So, all right, Voyager. Charge controller, there it is. It is going through its paces because I just turned it on. 0 0.2 amps is going in right now to the battery. All right, battery is at 13.5. And no power is coming out. 0 0.2 amps going in. Well, now zero, the two, like I said, very cloudy. 13.4 volts. That says what the temperature is. You can change that to Fahrenheit, but I don't use it, so I really didn't do that. And then we're back. All right. 
0.4.5. That's how many amps are coming into the battery. Okay, right, come up here. Thirteen point nine. Same thing. The voltage. One point three amps. That's good. Must be getting sunny out there. All right. So far, I will say this. This has been doing a really good job. A uh, little better than I expected. Like I said, I do disconnect it so it doesn't drain the battery. It does always run through these settings. And that's too bad. I wish it would just stay at the voltage sometimes. But that's okay. It does an excellent job. It does keep the battery charged up. Tells me where I'm at. And if I had to recommend something, I would go ahead and recommend this. It's, and no, I don't make any money off it. I believe I do have a link to it. That if you buy this off that link, I think Amazon will give me something. So I don't want to say that entirely. But I bought this myself. And of course, I don't have... Uh, how should I put this? I don't have any equipment that I don't actually use. And I don't have any equipment that anyone has given me anything. I have bought everything with my own money. My own systems. Just to show you how it works. And if I ever had to, by the way, yes, I would let you know if I was actually getting any money off or if I got something free. So I think the link I have for this in all of my videos does give me something from Amazon. So if you want this and it seems like a good idea to you, uh, feel free to use that link. I'm not actually sure how it works, but hey, there it is. And uh, same thing. I think I have a link in the videos when I talk about this 2000 watt. Same thing with the battery. Just want to be upfront with everybody because I'm definitely not doing this for the money. I'm doing this because a lot of folks asked how my solar runs. And so I just started showing them. And here we are. Okay. Go ahead and see what this says. It says 13.4. Yeah, which is pretty much what the uh, charge controller said. So, I have this one set up for lithium, of course. And uh, I showed everyone on the last video how to do that. This is just a review to show you how it's working. Everything is still working fine. It's been a month later. And, uh, like I said, I'm pleased with it. It's one of the few things I'm going to go ahead and recommend. I don't normally do that. Uh, but everything on this cart has been working really, really well. And you may want to consider having something like this cart. I don't sell them, but something like this cart for yourself in your own house. So when the power goes, you can simply move it to where it needs to be. So if you have any questions, any comments, please put them down in the comments. I like that. Uh, share, like. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And... She's string out.